Hand magnifiers are amongst the most commonly used magnifying aid. Almost every patient who has a visual impairment, however small, has tried using one. Many who do not have a visual impairment will also seek the use of additional light and magnification when performing specific visual tasks or hobbies. So it is worthwhile being aware that a hand magnifier is not just an aid for those with a visual impairment. This short presentation will review some of the reasons why patients may choose this type of device, together with an overview of the best techniques to get the most out of the aid. I shall cover the main features of magnifiers under the following headings. Strength or magnification. The working distance, which is how far the magnifier sits or is held above the object in view. This could be, for example, written text in a book, a column of print, a photograph, or perhaps a cooker dial or a watch face. The field of view is how much of the printed text or how much of the photograph the patient can see through the lens. Lighting is an important feature of magnifiers and it is also useful to understand which pair of spectacles patients can use with their magnifier, either their distance or their reading pair. And finally, how the importance of specific design features such as weight will have an impact upon whether a device is used or not. In this picture, the magnifier gives four times magnification. This means that the magnifier will increase the size of printed text by four times its original size. Recent improvements in design and technology have seen an increase in the range of good optical quality lenses which are available in a wide range of strengths or powers. This is also a four times magnifier, although in this picture the lens is circular. Patients will often have a personal preference whether using a rectangular or a circular lens and this will often depend upon what type of task they are using the magnifier for. Some will report that using a rectangular lens will be better for reading a column of print, whilst the view through a circular lens magnifier may be better suited for use when looking at a watch or a map. The final choice will be down to the patient and the decision is quite often a personal one. However, in the higher levels of magnification, most lenses are only available as circular lenses. Higher strengths are available in most ranges of magnifiers. The stronger the power, however, the smaller the size of the lens. Patients will often ask for a lens that covers more of the page at a time. However, this is rarely possible. Although larger magnifiers are available, such as sheet magnifiers, the strength is very low and the optical quality poor and certainly not good enough for those with a visual impairment. Working distance in this context relates to how far off the page the magnifier is held. If a magnifier is placed on the surface of an object, in this case the object is a map, there will be very little magnification. By raising the magnifier gradually off the page, both the working distance and the magnification will increase. There will come a point off the page when the maximum amount of magnification has been achieved after which the image of the map will go out of focus. The working distance has now gone beyond the range of magnification for that magnifier. Weaker powered magnifiers can be held quite far off the page and the print will still remain in focus. In this picture the gentleman is sitting outside and is looking at a city guide. Magnifiers are quite simple to use Although one hand is used up, the process of moving a magnifier up and down a column of print is a simple concept. The gentleman is using both eyes and is sitting in a comfortable position. When the patient uses a stronger magnifier, it may be necessary to get closer to the lens itself. The closer the eye is to the lens, the more of the image may be viewed through the lens. This is called the field of view. In this photograph, the same gentleman is using a much stronger magnifier. The size of the magnifier is smaller and the working distance is much shorter. He has also begun to stoop over the page and it is unlikely at this strength he is using both eyes together. 
it is not unusual for patients to close one eye when getting this close. It is also important to note that getting this close does have its advantages. The greater the field of view through the lens means seeing more words at a time, which helps when making sense of a map or a picture or a column of print. By far the majority of magnifiers dispensed to patients who have reduced vision have integral lighting, with almost all magnifiers now using LED light sources. The quality of light through an LED is far better compared to lighting used in the past. The lighting is also energy efficient, which means that the batteries will last for longer, an important feature for a large number of elderly people who may struggle to replace batteries without additional assistance. There have also been a number of studies that have looked at different colours of light used in magnifiers. These colours, known as the colour temperature, may benefit patients who suffer from specific eye conditions. Anecdotally, however, the choice is more often not down to the patient's personal preference. The majority of people using a magnifier, whether visually impaired or not, prefer the colder blue-white light. However, a few may tend towards the warmer colours of light. A regular question from those using a hand magnifier is which spectacles must I use? The answer is simply whichever works best for them. The patient or user will make adjustments naturally according to which glasses they are using, that is whether they are wearing their distance or their reading prescription. The gentleman in this picture is wearing very focal lenses and has no problem using a magnifier. The overall design of a magnifier, how it performs and what materials are used to house the lens are just as important as the lens itself. Plastics materials are carefully chosen to reduce overall weight so that magnifiers may be held for a longer period of time. The materials must also be durable Magnifiers used by the elderly are frequently dropped, so the housing or casing must be durable so that they can withstand within reason a certain degree of knocks and scrapes. Just as important has been the improvement to design that assists the comfort in handling. A wider, easy grip handle, smooth, tactile switches and simple to access of changing the batteries may seem an insignificant feature for younger people but are very important to the elderly who may suffer from weak hands or arthritis. And finally, portability. This is an important feature for those who are more mobile. The magnifier in this picture is light in weight. It has a specifically designed optical quality lens that is very thin and also very light in weight. The whole device is the same size as a credit card. A portable magnifier, which is much as four times magnification and one that slips easily into a pocket. In conclusion, hand magnifiers are the most simple type of device for those who have a vision impairment. They are widely used by both visually impaired and those with normal sight. Simple to use and versatile, magnifiers are amongst the most commonly used low vision device.